Seth McFarland, there he is. Oh my gosh. That's How's it going? Freeze. Oh, it's going good, buddy. It's so good to see your face. I, I want to see you in person, man. I, welcome to the family, right? Are we in NBC together now? That is correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm now with uh, NBC Universal. So we, are, we work with the same folks. I'm so psyched. I saw that thing come in. I go, oh, this is going to be fun, man. So we good, can go good, to the whatever. same cocktail parties and not feel weird. <laughs> exactly. Uh, how are you in, the, in this quarantine? Are you getting anything done? Are you, how are you feeling? I I, I am. It's it's like I'm I'm getting I'm I'm getting a lot done. I find that like you know I, I it's, we've we've set up all these crazy systems where I can edit the show from home. Um, I can record Family Guy and American Dad from home. It's 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 the 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 technical part of our culture. The way people have stepped up to kind of close these gaps for us is is kind of amazing. It is but, crazy, um, right? Because you, yeah. you the Orville, you were in the middle of shooting season three. Which, yeah. by the way, congrats on season two. I saw that it was like 100% fresh uh, yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes. That's always good. Uh, but, dude, so you're in the middle of doing season three, and they go, sorry, we're shutting everything down. We were, we were right in the middle of shooting an episode of The Orville. So it's like when this thing airs at long last, whenever that is, you're going <laughs> to at least one episode is going to be such that you're going to have between one scene to the next, people are suddenly going to gain 20 pounds and have, like, long white beards. <laughs> so... Oh, Unexplicable, oh, yeah. No, no one can say why. Uh, no, uh, no plans on when that was going to come out yet. Um, no, we. It's it's. It depends on when we get back to work. It depends on on right. in what conditions we get back to work. So it's, yeah, it's it's all. I mean, it's it's what we we've, we've shot about half the season. It's it's looking amazing. I mean, it's we're basically going to be delivering people a little movie every week. So. Uh, I mean, do you find, is that a lot of pressure on you? Because, I mean, we're all look, kind of looking for new family guys and new American yeah. dads. I mean, it was like, Seth, we need stuff. <laughs> we need content, dude. Like, we're, we're, is it like, because, again, thank you so much for coming on the show, by the way. Oh, I really think it. I love so it. many people watch and they, they're big fans of yours. But, I mean, like, I, I don't know. It's like, you're like, I'm only one man. I, I can do this. I can do that. But, like, is I, I, I mean, I, I, I like to stay... I like to stay busy. I mean, I, and, and I, and there's enough for me to do from a writing standpoint and from a, a producing standpoint that I can, I can find ways to fill this time. I, one of my writing partners on family guy said to me, <laughs> said to me, I, I'm coming to the realization that this is what I've always wanted an excuse to never leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I try to keep the, the biggest issue for me is, is, uh, you know, as I look ahead to what's next and as I start writing projects, and I'm sure you've heard this before, when you're writing characters, you, you, it's hard to predict how people are going to behave. Like, you know, Jim shakes hands with Bob. Like, is that ever going to happen again? Um, yeah, you know, you're what, right. What is, what is the world going to look like and how much a part of day-to-day -day interaction between people is this going to be? And you just can't predict that. So you're just writing the world that we know now. And so that's, that's the biggest challenge to me. Uh, you can probably get away with it a little bit with Family Guy, right? Yeah, yeah, well, fam yeah. Because you yeah, kind of live I, in I, your I own reality. With two, I'm with two shows that don't really have to address it. Family Guy is a cartoon and the Orville is 500 years in the future. So I, <laughs> I kind of lucked out. I don't yeah, ever have to make up whatever rules. Uh, yeah, oh. we never shook hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I heard, saw somewhere, I think it was on your Instagram or something like that, that you've been drawing ever since you were a kid like different comics and, and drawings. And uh, I thought that was awesome. Like, wh how old are you when you started doing that? 12? Uh, I, was, I was about, I, my parents have Fred Flintstones and Woody Woodpeckers and Bugs Bunny from when I was about two, um, trying to like, you know, with my stubby baby carrot fingers, trying to copy them off the TV, hold my pencil wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I started, um, you know, I, I, I experimented with animation for the first time, I think when I was about 12. And was making is, like yeah. short films that were very crude and very, very, you know, loxy. But were you doing like videotape and like pausing it and then changing the drawing and then unpausing it? Yeah, you know, it was you know it was, it was a super eight camera. If you remember those. Yeah, well, they, it's because they go. <laughs> yep, yep. That one? There, was, there was a setting on it that where you could take one frame at a time, and and so that was what I was using. And you know, wow. you spend it off, and you literally wait like eight weeks for the film to get developed because it's got to go to like. Danbury, Connecticut, or someplace, and then <laughs> yeah. come back. And you see what you did wrong, and you do it again, and you wait another eight weeks, and it was a very slow process. 
That's right. And I'd have to come back to that. We used to have photo mats. Yes. So do we. <laughs> it was like a weird little booth in the middle of a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And that's all they did was give you your developed pictures. You're like, it was so odd. <laughs> it's just, it's like a toll booth for film. But I can't even imagine now, like, what's, what's the real estate deal on that? I, 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 have, I have no idea. And it, yeah, because there was never its own space. It was always a part of a larger parking lot. <laughs> It's just, and I feel like you can kind of just lift it right off the ground if you really wanted to rip them off. <laughs> Not a dangerous place. Bad weather, no. Yeah, it's a toll booth. Uh, but all right, talk to me about the at-home variety show and, and what's what's happening. Where where can we see this thing? Well, basically, this is um, this is a, a show on Peacock, um, which is a which is a new streaming service. <laughs> oh, no, is that right? <laughs> With a great name, Peacock. Oh, what a uh, name! And. <laughs> None of us were in that board meeting when we probably should have been. No comedians uh, were in that board meeting, no. There were no comedians. In that. <laughs> Excuse me, if I'm sorry, but yes, back here? No, is there, just, is sit, there... <laughs> just sit back down. We got it, we're good, we're good. We don't want any other suggestions, we're good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it's a weekly, uh, or nightly rather, nightly, um, uh, at home variety show that uh, uh, that I'm hosting that and each uh, each installment features a different celebrity who comes in and does their own act of some kind or other the the, the array of of um, installments is pretty diverse uh, everybody's How doing fun different yeah it's it's very experimental it's very very avant-garde and it's all helping people during the pandemic yes, all charity. It's, all, it's all for charity all for uh for essential workers and and communities in need and so it's uh, is it sort of like a circus of the stars type of type of thing do you remember that <laughs> i remember i do remember circus of the stars yeah was, uh, was I, think the... this, I think this is more voluntary <laughs> i think these people are i think these people are happy to be there doing this <laughs> <laughs> are you saying they're against their will I, I, I remember reading that like Circus of the Stars was something that like the actors were kind of forced to do if they wanted to keep working. <laughs> I loved it. What was the Olympics? Like Gabe, remember Gabe was Kaplan, get on that trapeze. It's like, Brooke Shields is going to walk on broken glass when we come back and you go, so you're saying she didn't really want to do it. <laughs> Charlotte Ray is going to swallow a sword. <laughs> from, from Facts of Life? Yes. Mrs. Garrett? Yes. <laughs> Holy moly, that's unbelievable. Um, well, we're going to put, we put the website up uh, on the screen right now. Anyone anyway, can, uh, you go to peacocktv.com uh, forward slash for good. And uh, are, uh, where, how are you on that variety show? Will you be hosting it or will you be appearing on it? Uh, no, you know, I'm, I'm literally at the moment just, just hosting. I'm, I'm, I'm standing in my, uh, standing in my house and, 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 and uh, rolling out the act. Uh, I think it's awesome. Thank you for doing that. Uh -huh. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.